the deep flexors here. We have, first of all, the flexor hallucis longus and then the flexor digitorum longus. In order to test them, what we're going to do is go ahead and go into what we had for the soleus stretch. And as we bend down and come over, you can see how the toes start to kind of curl over a little bit. Ideally, we should get 15 to 20 degrees on the great toe. It's not real bad, but it's not 100. And we're not getting that much for the smaller ones. So what we can do with the big, the great toe, it's going to be coming across the back of the ankle and coming to the back of the, hip, the fibula. So I'm going to go ahead and come to the back of the fibula, and I can bounce her toe and find that area and move up and down and find the area that's causing the restriction. And I do have her attention at this point, which would be a good thing. I hate it when people ignore me. And this kind of ensures that that's not going to happen. The other thing I can do for the four lesser toes is I can go ahead and bring my fingers in at about the midpoint here. If I come straight in, I'd be on tibialis posterior, but if I come straight in and then curl to the back, then I'm going to be on the flexor digitorum fibers. And then ideally, hopefully I'll have a change. And I have a very good stretch on both of those particular muscles. She can stretch this herself by sitting down, pulling the toes up, pulling back the ankle, and point up on the great toe, and point up on the four lesser toes.